Now if you come on down to Highbury, you can see Thierry Henry. He is the best player you will ever see. Thierry, Thierry Henry. Now if you come on down to Highbury. I want to tell you what I talk to the lads about every day. What it means to be part of our family. A strong family. First, there is the non-negotiables. Respect. Humility. Belief. And it's okay to get angry, to raise our voices, as long as it comes from the right place. And even though family can hurt us like nobody else, remember, they are the ones who raise us up. When people come to our house, try to divide us, because they know our family and what our shirt means. Let them know we can't be divided. And it will take all of us together. Because we know where we belong. So when the challenges come, you will tell them. This is family. This is family. This is family. This is family. This is Arsenal. Of course, I knew about Arsenal before I arrived. Everybody knows how special this club is. Even though I arrived here as a world champion, I was nobody. I've seen incredible players. If you just put yourself first, then you're wrong. Passionate players. I'll be trying to win it, but I don't see any other one. Invisible players. It was all about playing 100% for my club. I dream of being one of them amongst the best and staying in the hearts of the fans forever. I want to become an Arsenal legend just like Cherry, Wrighty, Adams and Beckham, too many to mention. And it's Adams, to three by Bowles! Fabulous goal for Bowles! Would you believe it? Oh, that's sensational! The Bavier! Yes! My dad is my biggest inspiration, and he was captain of his club and his country. So it means so much to me to be the captain of this special club. I want to leave a legacy. This is where I belong. This is my family. How you doing everybody? Here we are in the North London Sun. We're out and about and during the season we're going to be doing some interviews with players women players, the academy. But today we're here for the launch of Arsenal's third kit with Adidas, and we're going to be speaking to a player that I absolutely adore, fans adore. We're going to be speaking to Kieran Tierney, and um, I'm really looking forward to it, so let's go and do that. KT, got to say, my t-shirt, man. Nee, you're looking tremendous. <laughs> I haven't got it tucked in because I've got to ask you about the tucked in stuff because when, when we were playing, it had to be tucked in. Honestly, it was like that. Yeah. Even, my, even when I look at my Celtic kit, it looked like <laughs> it was my dad's. When I was growing up, I had the baggy shorts. Right. The sleeves were like down to here. Yeah. Yeah. But see, now it's all tight, fitted, custom fitted, and me tucking it in, I just feel that's me ready now, ready to go. With the Celtic, obviously we've got that Celtic kind of link in common. I was there for like, I think it was like six months, Kay. Because when I went there, Enrique he'd broken his leg and took me for something to eat. And it was literally like Jesus was walking down yeah, the road, yes. the way the fans were. The king. 
in respect to the fans, the love they had for you, I'm feeling like we're getting the same vibe here now. Can you feel how much that we've kind of like taken to you? What do you think it is? Obviously the fans at Celtic were amazing. Oh. Coming down here, I was like, this is going to be different. I'm not going to get that. But since I've came here, they've took to me. It's been brilliant, even when I was injured. And then when I came back and played at the end of that season, it just went to another level as well. And I would just like to thank them, man, because it's amazing. Mm. When you signed for Cert, you stayed with your parents. Is that important for you to be amongst that, especially now you're down here? When I'm on the pitch the now, that's who I do it for, is yes. them. And I see, when I see them at games, I wave to them. I'm like, this is the best feeling ever. Like, scoring's <laughs> brilliant. I don't do it much, but scoring's yeah. brilliant, assisting and winning. But see, just making your family and parents mm. proud, then there's, there's no feeling compared to it. You know something? I didn't actually get to play on this pitch. What was it like playing here? What was your first, your first game like? I was, I was really nervous for you because yeah. I was so desperate for us to get you to come because yeah. it went for so long, is he coming, ain't he coming? I was nervous, of course, there was a lot of expectation on me. People had been waiting because I was injured, so yes. I just kept building yes. up. I was like, I better not let anyone down here, like, I just want to do well. And obviously it was the Nottingham Forest game. It was just a great occasion and yeah. the fans were brilliant with me. Like when my name get read out, they all cheered loud. You see in our dressing room, it seems like a very harmonious dressing room. We've got a Brazilian connection. We've got obviously a French connection, a German connection. And like you're, you're in there as like the only Scotsman. Who's your, who's your link man? Who's, who's helping you in there? Hector is, was the first one, kind of put, my, yeah, put his arm around me. They call Hector the Spanish road man. Yeah. He's been there so long. Yeah, he's, he has, he's brilliant and helped me massively then. When I got back, more training involved. It was like Rob Holden, Callum Chambers, kind of yeah. the English boys who helped me as well. Like you said, you was nervous, knowing that I need to play well, the only Scotsman in the, in the place. What's that nervousness like? It's not nice, man, but it, it makes me want to go and work and prove people wrong. And I was just down here and probably not many players had even heard who I was. No idea, never seen me play. So I was down here with it all to prove. And that's just what I enjoy doing, working hard. I've, where I am today is from hard work um, mm. and a bit of luck as well, but I'm just grateful to have the chance mm. and the teammates have been brilliant with me and I can't ask for anything more. And you see, coming from Celtic, obviously winning, serial winners, and let's face it, you came into an Arsenal side under a lot of pressure. You know, that change from Christmas time to actually winning the FA Cup. The season we've all had as a team was tough, but for me personally, with injuries on top of it as well, yeah. and it was just, what a moment, one of the best in my career, it was, mm want to save her and just see just the feeling at the end that like we've won silverware after mm. so many people had written us off. You know what, Kieran? I've done a call with Mikel, it's brilliant, insightful, he's so engaging. And I remember um, he was telling me, saying, so who, who are we looking out for in respects of really going to blast us and take us to that level where you need to go? What, who's the players? First person, Kieran Tierney. How does, that, how does that make you feel to know that you've got a manager, yeah. one of the best young managers around, saying that you are probably the one? That just got my confidence high. Because it was lockdown, I was, I was just coming back from injury and I seen you two speaking, I was like, that's brilliant. It just made me feel better about myself. Yeah. I was like, I hadn't played or trained really under the manager. So I was like, I hope he knows who I am. Like, mm. <laughs> hope he knows I'm a left back. Yeah. Um, all I can do is try and play well to repay his faith because he's been brilliant with me. I just saw the boys, like, everybody coming out saying things to you like, oh, the big, oh, the big man, oh, the, uh, we want to do interviews with you. <laughs> is that why, is the dressing room an unbelievable place? Yeah, good it's, guys? it's got so much better as well. So yeah. at the start, see when you're losing and it's not, it's not fun. Nobody yeah. likes to lose and you just enjoy playing football and you enjoy winning. And see when you've got a change room who enjoys winning together, yeah. it's, that's the winning formula. Like. People would think that with the different kind of like the Brazilian, the German, the French, uh, obviously the, the English guys and that, is, is it very harmonious? It seems the different cultures, it's like a family. It has to be. See, if you want to win, you need to be a team. Yeah. We're always there for each other, there's, n there's no question. Yeah. And I don't think anybody in the change room would ever question that. Like. What, what do you think we can expect for next season? I know we'll be trying the best we can. We want to be higher up on the table. The fans deserve to be. They deserve Champions League football as yes. well. It's not going to happen overnight, everybody yeah. knows that, but as long as people can see we are progressing, because we know we're progressing every day, the manager, we believe in every single word he says, and it's nice. brilliant. Hopefully this season can be a good one for us. So first up, Fulham, they've just come up, they're playing Arsenal. You know, it's a tough one, it's a tricky one. Yeah, any team coming up, they've, they've always got a point to prove. They, they want to do well in the league, they want to stay up, they want to get points early on as they can, but it's the same for us, we want, yeah. to, we want to get points straight away, so it's a game we'll be... We know it's going to be tough, we'll expect that, but we'll be looking to get the win. Nice. Listen, Kieran, man, it's been great talking to you. Like I say, I'm not wearing this for no joke, man. <laughs> You're my guy. I'm just looking for great things for you. All the very best for the season, my friend. Thanks very much. Nice Legend. one, Kieran. Thank you. Now if you
come on down to Highbury. You can see Thierry Henry. He is the best player you will ever see. Thierry, Thierry Henry. Now if you come on down to Highbury.